what was that? Chop chop. Roger. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, right. So east. Right, so it came up to all those bits there. So I went, I went through there, but maybe I should just go through here. Trees, kind of just trees. Um. Whoa, I didn't even move then. Didn't even move. All right. Let's do this. Um. Air slash. Wait, uh, so the place where I was at, the Klim Center, I thought we agreed like we weren't going to go there. But you're saying, no, 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 go there. If that's the case, I will go back there. I have no qualms. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, if I go. walk back here so I would prefer to go to that Klim Center because if it's got treasure yeah, yeah, yeah I want nice things I deserve nice things This looks very maze-like. I'm just gonna play it safe. That's pretty cool. Fuck you! Both Rune and Raja were targeted, so... I can't use, um, River, unless Chaz has it. That's dis that's disgusting when they do shit like that. Yep, yeah, absolutely f Disgusting. my ship. Cool. Guess not. <laughs> it's it's like, could you stop like targeting the two that like are obviously the weakest? And it's like, nah, nah, nah. We're gonna always do that every single time. And all you, all you want to do is escape unnecessary battles. Like, Thanks, game. Thanks. Yeah. 
There it is. I guess that's not so bad if I could do that. Try to clear this place. Oof. Yeah. So basically, the treasure is here. I sh I I want to, like. I want to escape as many battles as possible, but I will like try to attack some of these things. I just, I just don't want to over level. Because I mean, I might be able to get some more of those uh, missable boss um, chivos. And if I, can, if, if I can get those done at the same time, it's nice. Finally. Chaz now has access to River. Yeah, I, I know, but I mean, like, um, I also am wary of the, um, the RA set, because it, it forces you to underlevel. Oh yeah, by the way, um, the F-Zero set, it went from, like, um, 14 Chivos to something like 42. I'm like... Brought to you by the, um, the same dev that did the, um, Super Punch-Out revision. Suspect. Like that there's there's apparently no such thing as like um a good set anymore. If it's a game that a person likes and they wanna fuck with it, then it gets voted on in secret in the Discord server and then it gets inflicted. In my opinion, in my personal opinion, the Super Punch Out set and the F Zero set were perfectly fine. He might be good people. But he's made revisions on several sets that, in my opinion, didn't need to be touched. But it is what it is. That's what RA is. What, what I find interesting is, like, if you're a newer dev, like, usually how these sorts of things go with volunteer projects is that the, the, the people that are, like, new devs, they don't get to work on whatever they want. They are given certain projects that are, like, neglected. You know, like, say, no, no one really wants to work on NES games, right? Especially obscure ones. But it's like, no, wait, you're a new dev here. We need a set for this. Make the set. That's how it should be. But they're so scared of losing devs that they're basically like, Oh, here, master. Here, do whatever you want. Like, they're, they're sac sacrosanct. They're beyond reproach. I don't think that that's um, the right way of going about like um, the project. There are certain games that need certain sets, and the um, you know the newer devs should be made to work on them in order to build up their experience. Not just like okay, um, you want to do this, like you've got the experience to do that, but you know you don't have a history of work behind you. But you know whatever. The, the more I talk about RA, the closer I get to being, like, banned legitimately. I feel like I should just shut my mouth. 
there are a lot of RA devs that are mods in channels that I like to frequent. And it just sucks, man. It just it just makes me never want to visit the channel again. I'll, I'll tell you that straight up. Because it gets to a point where it's like... You, you can't say a fucking thing about RA. It's, it's all eggshells. Yeah. Okay, but like, uh, okay. So let me just temporarily... Pause that. Okay, let's have a look at the, um, the new, um, F-Zero, um, thing. Because, you know, it's had a, a very substantial, like, change. Holy shit, uh, it went from, um... 14 or 16 it's gone up to 62 i'm sorry it wasn't 42 it was 62 fuck me um so a lot of the the, the ones like where it's act adding achievements for doing practice stuff it's like oh, okay i don't care about that um there are a few that i'm like really okay um uh, place first in a uh, grand prix race with a critically damaged vehicle, expert or master. Place first in a Grand Prix race without using uh, an S-Jet. Place first without sustaining any damage. Yeah, yeah, there's some, there's some time trial stuff. Um, like... When it comes to revisions by suspect, like, that's pretty much what it comes down to. A lot of it's, like, time trial stuff. Like, judging from Stupid Punch-Out and now this, so. If I see, like, a really cool game that I really want the badge for, i.e. F-Zero, i.e. Super Punch-Out, and I see that it was, like, okay, I think Super Punch-Out was 26 Chivos, F-Zero was, like, it was either 14 or 16, I thought... Okay, doable. Um, yeah, doable. But uh, when I see like some SNES games where it's like, you know, 65 Chivos, 75 Chivos, 90 Chivos, I'm like, nah, nah. I, you mean for, when, when um, a badge gets revised for a JRPG, like, in my opinion, JRPG badges, um, they're not so bad. Um, but the thing is, like, I'm paranoid. Like, I keep all my saves. Because with the way RA is, a revision for it could be just around the corner. And quite often, you know, it, it happens just bloop. And then you got to deal with it. Yeah. Anyways, back to the game. We're trying to um, heal up some people. Because they keep banging your boy. Oh, that's right. Pulse Vulcan. Alright. So I'm guessing that's the one. That's the one, son. Attack power goes to 113. Ew. Yuck. I've got the plasma rifle. Why would I want this weapon? Is there a secret to this, Asao? The Pulse Vulcan being a better weapon? It's like a, um, a weapon that targets all. If that's the case, then I'm, I'm happy. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, 
no, no. Acceptable. You definitely want the area um, of the fake weapons. Speaking of like um, sets with like a lot of chivos, don't you think that um, what, what is it? Um, yeah, Metal Gear. Metal Gear had 97 achievements. I don't, I don't know, boys. They're turning these very simple, very classic games into like dissertations you know like PhD dis dissertations I know I don't know I, know, I don't know there's a fine line there's a fine line it's it's like that um thread that constantly gets um comments put on it like, um, why do all, why do half the games only have to be Dark Souls to put or something like that? It's got like, uh, like, I think 200 replies on it. And it's been going for years. And basically, it's the same people gatekeeping saying, yeah, look, uh, this is the debate that we're gonna keep, uh, coming back to year after year and then nothing's gonna change, so fuck you. Let me just put my finger in your bum hole. <laughs> it's the same people gatekeeping it, so nothing will ever change. You gotta think about that. You gotta think about that. If, if it's uh, such a terrible topic, and like, you know, we've already discussed this and, you know, decisions have already been made. Have they been made? Or, 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 or are the sweaties just gatekeeping the fuck out of um, RA? I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think there's some sweaty gatekeeping going on. All maps and no detection. Um, what was the most insane... Yeah. The most insane um, achievement in that set. Um, let me see. The no detection, like honestly, um, I was surprised, like remember how I, I've, I've made a highlight of it. Like you can, you can carry the um, transmitter, you don't need to pick up the silencer. Um, and I did two other things. Yeah, like the time limit. Like it is a rather quick game, like once you know it back to front, once you have access to maps and shit. What was the most tedious, tedious thing? I'm just quickly going through this list now. Like every every single like sub boss fight has like um a little bit of cheese you can exploit. Yeah, I th I think that there are certain ones where like you know go from like this bit to this bit without being spotted those are some of the harder ones but it just it just depends on on how you approach the chivo like if you if you do it like um if you do it just piecemeal like they're they're doable but they're they're extremely annoying i'll say that they're extremely annoying like trying to do multiple, like uh, don't get spotted, don't kill, and um, don't kill, don't use any weapons. Yeah, don't get spotted, don't kill, don't use weapons. If you try to do them all simultaneously, to do it quicker, then yeah, it gets it gets a bit fucked. But if you break it up, 
it's it, it's a bit easier. Um. I think actually to complete in under 90 minutes, I was effing around during that highlighted play. I was actually a bit closer to that 90 minute limit than what I thought at, um, at first, but we got there in the end. Yeah. No, but would I say that Metal Gear was um, harder than Echo? Echo took me on a journey of pain. A journey I did not like. Alright. Um, Raja. Matter if I use some of these, uh, yeah, I guess it's fine. That look cool. <laughs> Nafoy, okay, Nafoy can be used for something. Nares possibly as well. So who has which? So Nares and uh, Rika, I guess. Nafoy. What be Nafoy? Ah, okay. So Nafoy is like um. Like the the strongest uh, fire attack. Okay, I guess it's rune then. Maybe under skill. Right. Okay. The same with um. the the Z best bar one that's quite strong too I'm gonna look forward to using that so who has the other one it must be Raja Nares the Nares must be a support technique no okay recovery okay right so it's the strongest cure for like one person. A full heal. Okay. In other words, quite useful actually. Okay. Now it's good that um Rune got the um the Nafoy, but we need some of those sorts of spells on some of the other characters so we can get some of them um combo set up. using that too much because like it's you know he uses up nine he doesn't need to be using that much um that can be used well actually just a, a simple res on Rika 
because um, Raj is like healing power potential is just so high. Actually, Nariz is apparently nine, according to this guide here, which is insanely low, really. When you think that Sa, which is like for everyone, that's twelve. So, interesting. Let's have a look at, uh, on this side here. Hmm. Nassar. Nassar is 36, and that's like the, um, the mo- it's like a full heal for everyone. That's a nice one. But, um... At, at 36 TP, that's a that's a juicy boy. Repair kit, oh boy! God damn. All right, let's 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 do this. Disrupt, and this should actually kill them all. But I want to see if uh. Oh wait, no, actually... Sar. Yeah. Sar. Nafoy is only for one, but I want to use it. Ooh, it looks nice. Kind of a crap star. That's a much better star. And you're all dead? Damn it. Now you're all dead. Good. Um, but yeah, that's why I realized RA will do it for fun. Why I realized Ra, Ra will do for fun. Like, um, Zenith Gear Saga 1 has no set, but I need to beat it for a Zeno. Gaga 2. Really? That's strange. I wonder if um, Suikoden 1 and 2 have something like that. Like, uh, like if, if it does and it's in the core set, I think that that's like disgusting. I think things of that nature should be in the bonus set. Ah, oh, but I think I think it's like regardless of you know games or whatever. It's a vile tool. Oh, yeah, we've got a shower raid. A vile plume in my Pokedex. No vile plume. It's a vile hey. plume. Yeah, but it looks a hey, little Shara. different from the vile plume in my Pokedex. Do you like your special raid? Um, no vile plume. Special raid uh, message. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. I think I've only seen that pop like once, legitimately. Nice, nice. Everyone, if you don't know who Sharadaski is, like, you should familiarize yourself. Thank you very much for the uh, shout there. Ah, playing some uh, Scarlet and Violet. Cool, cool. Shara does, like, a whole bunch of stuff, really. Like, Shara streams, like, almost four or five times a week. And Shara does, like, horror games, uh, modern games, retro games. Um, you know, things like uh, Kingdom Hearts, Pokemon... Like, he's just a cool dude, and, um, yeah, I, I always enjoy popping in on his streams when I have the chance. Um, if, if you're not already following Shara, and you know me, I don't usually give out, like, you know, very forceful, like, demands to follow people, but, like, please give Shara a chance. He deserves your follow. Okay, yee, we finished the game, nice. I did not want to do the end game stuff. Seven nights a week, I have no life. I mean, I mean, like, you're like, what I want my streaming uh, to end up being like. Not, perhaps not seven days a week, but you're so consistent. You're very consistent, and um, and that's important if you if you want to get like noticed on this platform. I think. 